rating plus four six plus x informational cognition hazard warning the following documentation is directly affected by an anomalous linguistic info hazard procedure ptolemaic trepidation is now in effect all unauthorized personnel will be terminated upon discovery level 4 1751st access required initiate post cerebral security procedures Safety cognition hazard interlocks disengaged. Authorized personnel, be advised that you have been administered the Class 7 countermimetic safety mechanism code named Ninth Sphere. This allows for viewing of SCP-1751 without prior knowledge of the Latin language. Please do not re-administer this mechanism without on-site medical approval, and never more than twice within a one-hour period. Item hash. SCP-1751 Object Class Keter Special Containment Procedures SCP-1751 is currently contained through suppression of knowledge surrounding it. As SCP-1751 is not a physical object, and due to its unique circumstances, it cannot be fully contained. Protocol Vort's obfuscation is responsible for the full suppression of all media attention to SCP-1751. Foundation agents are to be embedded in every major media outlet to monitor for evidence of SCP-1751. Foundation historians reaped from universities globally are to use their influence to suppress any chance of SCP-1751 surfacing. All textbooks which mention SCP-1751 are to be confiscated and all copies destroyed. Subsequent editions are to be edited to remove all references to SCP-1751. Additionally, procedure Ptolemaic trepidation has been expanded to allow for an emergency activation system. Several Foundation low-orbit installations are equipped with a mass-release version of the 9th Circle counter meme to be administered globally in the event of a major containment breach. This should be considered a grace period, as 9th Circle only delays the onset of critical symptoms of SCP-1751 exposure. In the event that knowledge of SCP-1751 becomes non-containable, Class O amnestic application is authorized. Description SCP-1751 is a fixed point in space-time, information about which can only be perceived in Latin. SCP-1751, as it is currently understood, appears to produce this effect through a protomimetic infohazard mechanism. Current, ongoing research has proposed that the effectiveness of a counter-meme would suggest a non-mimetic source of SCP-1751's anomalous effects. Though the method through which SCP-1751 manifests is poorly understood, specifically, SCP-1751 is the entire year of AD, centered around the Mediterranean Sea. During this time, no known major historical events took place. The proximity to Nero's persecution of early Abrahamic sects has been noted. Foundation historians have put forward the idea that SCP-1751 is somehow related to the burned, redacted, and the aftermath thereof, based on several writings in Foundation custody recovered from the remnants of the Library of Alexandria and analysis of the Dead Sea Scrolls. See excerpt 1751A5 Delta for a relevant section from the recovered documents. When considered by any sapient, Language-capable organism 1. Their thought processes invariably translate into Latin whenever SCP-1751 is directly thought about. This presents in the same manner as non-anomalous multilingual perception. The subject appears to think in Latin whenever directly or indirectly thinking about SCP-1751. The effects of SCP-1751's manipulation of thought processes have included nausea, headache, loss of focus, and difficulty communicating, though these symptoms are considered a product of the subject spontaneously experiencing a class-sigma shift in perception. 
and not an additional manifestation of SCP-1751. Prolonged exposure to SCP-1751 has resulted in the degradation of Wernicke's area in the cerebral cortex, resulting in a cessation of understanding of all language except for Latin, and a complete inability to understand language in the long term. In extreme cases, tumor growth has been observed in patients with extended exposure to SCP-17512. It is theorized that SCP-1751 rapidly deconstructs and then rebuilds neuron connections within the language centers of the human brain. Additionally, subjects who have pre-existing knowledge of the Latin language have suffered decreased symptoms in relation to their level of fluency. Due to the fact that SCP-1751 appears to be an infohazard infection of a specific point in space-time, and not simply text or some other human construct. Containment of SCP-1751 has revolved around the suppression of public knowledge of it. Any sapient 3 organism which considers SCP-1751 will experience its anomalous effects, regardless of location, intelligence level, local temporal anchor point, or otherwise. As such, all textbooks for which include SCP-1751 have been confiscated and their subsequent editions edited. Suppression of knowledge regarding SCP-1751 and a deliberate disinformation campaign have served to reduce public attention of SCP-1751 specific point in time to null values. SCP-1751 presents the danger of a GH-class dead greenhouse scenario where only the most remote, media-inaccessible portions of humanity would survive. Small-scale containment breaches have been obscured in the past through acute carcinogen application and counterintelligence operations. Addendum 1751-009A56 Interviewed D-493905 Interviewer Dr. Malfic Forward Interview with D-493905 After approximately 7 7 Hours of exposure to SCP-1751 D-493905 has displayed the inability to speak in any language but Latin for 2 2 Hours Bold text indicated speech in English all other speech is in Latin. Less than begin log. 1230. 18 GMT on, greater than. Dr. Malfic, please state your internal identification designation. D-493905. D-493905. Dr. Malfic, you've been exposed to SCP-1751 accumulative three hours now. How do you feel? D-493905. Can I go back to my room yet? Dr. Malfic, please answer the question. D-493905. My head is pounding and I haven't been able to keep anything down. Happy. Can I go? Dr. Malfic, please read from this excerpt. D-493905. At this point, Dr. Malfolk slides a copy of Lewis Carroll's poem Jabberwocky across the table to D-493905, who recites it in Latin. Words not currently recognized in English are translated clearly and without pause by D-493905. Dr. Malfic, to camera, subject appears incapable of even reciting in English. In addition, SCP-1751's effects do not appear to be contingent on individual language constructs such as inappropriate words. Dr. Malfic, D-493905. How do you feel about working with SCP-1751? D-493905. I can't stop thinking about it. The more I think about it, the more my head pounds. Doc 5. But I don't really mind it. I suppose, better in some of the other things I've seen around here. Can I go now, Dr. Malfic? Very well. Please report at 0800 tomorrow for routine testing. Less than end log. 1235. 47 GMT greater than. Closing statement. 
It has been theorized that due to the unique nature of D-class personnel's environment, it is difficult for them to separate themselves from being a test subject, which causes continual thought of the project they are involved with. Due to D493905's continual consideration of SCP-1751, his condition has worsened more rapidly than expected, and he is unable to speak in any language except Latin. Additionally, SCP-1751 was discovered to be non-reliant on publicly decided language structures, even affecting Carol's Jabberwocky, which contains many invented words. Addendum 1751-203-3065 Interviewed D493905 Interviewer Dr. Malfic Forward D493905 has been exposed to SCP-1751 for a total of 47. 47. Cumulative hours. Despite his early, rapid onset of symptoms, he has proven unusually resistant to complete axiomatic decomposition due to SCP-1751's anomalous effects, which has made him an invaluable research asset. No other test subject has survived more than 30, 30, hours, less than begin log, 1421, 25, 38 GMT, greater than, Dr. Malfic, how are you feeling, D493905, D493905 grunts, he is holding his head, Dr. Malfic, we've prescribed you pain medication, is it not effective? D-493905. They stopped working. Dr. Malfic. Has the pain intensified? D-493905. Yes. Dr. Malfic. Is that your only new symptom? D-493905. I've had bad dreams. Dr. Malfic. What? Can you elaborate? D-493905. I've been having nightmares. Mostly of burning to death always in some ancient look-in, place, pillars and torches. Dr. Malfic, we'll prescribe some heavy sleep medication. Is that all or D-493905? Are you all right? D-493905. At this point, D-493905 appears to convulse in a manner consistent with a grand mal seizure. D-493905. Amabotanisi incendias me. Following his final vocalization, D-493905 continued to convulse and scream for 4 minutes and 17 seconds before dying. Autopsy revealed damage consistent with SCP-1751 symptoms as well as evidence of a very large first aneurysm within Wernicke's area of his brain. Less than end log. 1425, 34, 27 GMT greater than. Closing statement. All attempts to include a translation of D493905's final words with SCP-1751's documentation have resulted in failure. Due to SCP-1751's anomalous effects translating the excerpt, even through the implemented counter-mimetic ninth circle. In all cases, as soon as an isolated translation is linked in any way to SCP-1751 it invariably becomes inexpressible in any language except for Latin. No personnel with knowledge of SCP-1751 are known to be able to understand its meaning. Excerpt 1751A5 Delta. Dot dot dot. And the gypsy woman cried to her gods to save her burnt kin, her children bubbling at her feet, but man hath no eye like the gods, who took offense with her, her weakness, took it as an affront, and, in their vanity, their splitting grins, they damned her shame to the ever flows of time, and snatched her dying breath, nailing it to, that maleficent clock, so that all of man, might remember, understand, and revel in her pain, dot dot dot, footnotes, one, Testing with sapient, non-human subjects has yielded similar results. 2. In the cases of non-human, long-term test subjects, 
varying amounts of damage and rapidity of cell death were observed, likely based on incompatibility with human linguistic structures. 3. All subsequent sapient test subjects have shown 0% resistance to SCP-1751. It is not currently believed that any organism is by nature exempted from this. 4. Five separate textbooks as of 2014. 5. Note. Translation of abbreviated words and colloquialisms with no known Latin equivalent are spoken as if unabbreviated or translated to the best approximate representation, when affected by SCP-1751's anomalous effects.